Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the Leonardo AI to generate images out of any given image. Firstly, you're going to proceed over to the fine tunes fine tune models area on the left of your screen. Next, you can choose any of this. For our tutorial, we're going to be choosing the Dream Shaper V5. If you're having any trouble finding it, you can just proceed to the top and search it over here. But it's right in front of us so we can do it. I'm using this one because it's versatile model, great at both photorealism and anime. You can use any one according to your needs. For example, you can use this if you want to make a good environment or people. Or you can use this for vintage style photography. The different fine tune models are better at different stuff and are very unique. Again, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Dream Shaper V5. Now, as you click it, it shows you the actual training resolution of it, which means the resolution this AI is trained to use. Next, it will show you the strength, the stable diffusion B1.5, and the category. If you like the model, you can go ahead and click generate with this model, and it will give you a pop-up on your screen. You can just proceed and click next through it. Now, firstly, on the top of your page, there is a prompt option. You can type in whatever you want to generate over here. Otherwise, if you want to generate an image out of images, firstly, you're going to scroll down on the left and choose the number of images you want to generate. Next, you're going to go down all the way and select your resolution, which is already pre-selected according to the AI you're using or the fine-tuned model. You can scroll all the way down and upload or drag and drop your image. But first, you're supposed to click the image to image option if you're creating images from images. Go to the upload or drag to drop option and proceed over to your folder or the image that we want to use. For my example, I'm using this one. Let it load up and it will show you the init strength. This strength basically describes the resemblance of the image you generate to the image you give. You can slide it either up to make it resemble your character a lot or images a lot or you can slide it all the way down to either make it not resemble your image that much or at zero so it doesn't resemble your image at all. The best strength for this is around 0 0.75. You can use that and this is the strength that will give you the least amount of distortion from. The guidance scale is again how much it will reflect the image. You can either choose 20 or 1 but again keep it at 7 or around in the middle for the best results or else you're going to have distorted images. Now you can go here either add a negative prompt which will show you what you don't want in the video for example now you can use this and just basically add whatever you don't want in the image that you generate now in the top area the actual prompt that you want to generate you can choose whatever you want for example girl in iron man armor Now we're going to hit enter and it will create 4 images or the amount of images you selected. Give it some time and it will usually generate it. We might have added the image strength way too much or the resemblance. We can just put it all the way down and try again. It's basically a trial and error method. Sometimes it will give you exactly what you want. Other times you have to try more than once. Look now, it generated this one or this one which is slightly distorted on the armor style and this one's slightly better than all of them but it's not exactly the armor we need so we can hit enter again and it will generate the whole thing again for you. Keep in mind you only have 150 tokens in the start for the non-premium plan. You can upgrade to get more but also again keep in mind because sometimes it, the generation will take 4 tokens, 8 tokens so yeah. Now look, these results are similar to the other ones, so we can change up more stuff, like the guidance scale, what if we just maxed out and generate again. 
it will generate again using our setting so we can just wait for it and this time it didn't generate anything well we can hit try again we're going to edit the prompt a bit and then hit generate again now look it's slightly better but it didn't really listen to our full portrait part so we can hit generate again but with different settings for example the guidance scale we can set it to 7 which is I think the best option according to the Leonardo.ai website we hit enter again it will create it again unless you are out of tokens now it's slightly resembling this which it's supposed to with this we got the best results possible so what if we just try making the strength up to max just wait for it and it will generate again it didn't really do much this time maybe because we maxed it out we could just try going with 0 0.51 it's slightly better now it resembles that and kind of goes with the Iron Man thing I do not know what happened with the headphones over here but we could try we could try it again with a different prompt and usually it depends on what you put in here if it will resemble your original image or not slightly better this time the suit is not really red we could just slide this all the way down just to see what happens and slide this all the way down too a better of a result as I said the settings are not really guaranteed you can mess around with it and figure out what's the best for you right now I generated a very detailed one according to our instructions you can add more stuff here obviously you can make it more complicated and yes that sums up this video thank you for watching Goodbye.